the mayor is a huge supporter of this program, as is Superintendent McCarthy. I'm going to be very, very brief. Um, one of the things that I do for the mayor is coordinate our, our violence prevention work. And that really involves eight different city departments who are united in their funding and their strategy and their belief that violence truly is preventable. I know that's the YMCA's um, belief. I know it's the city's. We have enormous challenges that are facing the city of Chicago, but there are many reasons to be hopeful. And many of those reasons are in the room today, frankly. Um, we've accomplished, even over three years and years before that, huge strides. And I think our belief is not that we need to reinvent everything. Our belief is that we need to keep doing the things that we're doing well um, to bring them to scale and to innovate in areas where we need new programming. I want to talk for just 30 seconds about a new initiative this fall called the Mayor's Commission for a Safer Chicago, because it's truly a new way of doing business for us. Um, Oftentimes you have the people who are at a commissioner or they're a department head or they're at a policy position in City Hall and they have access to budgets and they have access to evaluations and research dollars. And then you have the teachers and the youth program directors and the youth and the parents and the police officers on the street and they have a deep understanding of the challenges, the problems, the people. They're innovating, they see solutions, they're trying to implement them where they are and those two groups of people are not connected. And that's one of the hardest things that we have to, to challenge ourselves to do, to be in the same room together, to listen to each other. And so the Mayor's Commission for a Safer Chicago is 130 different people from around the city, leaders, all the way down to individual youth who are working together to create a violence prevention strategy for 2015. And we're building on past successes, but we're also um, challenging ourselves to expand in new areas. And I want to talk a little bit about my committee because Eddie and I are co-chairs of the Safety and Justice Committee. The Commission's working on health and healing, safety and justice, restorative school communities, <coughs> safe places and activities and youth employment are the main areas where we're working. And Eddie and I are co-chairs of the Safety and Justice Committee. And we scheduled the first meeting and we said our primary focus for this year, we're going to start small, we're not going to tackle everything, but we're going to talk about alternatives to incarceration and alternatives to arrest. Those are the two things that we're really going to focus on. We come in our first meeting and we had a number of different kinds of stakeholders in the room and they said, nope, we're going to do that, that sounds great, but we're also going to talk about officer-youth relationships. Um, so immediately, to me, that's a success because the city would not have gone into 2015 on our own without being a top priority, but because we're in the room with the YMCA and others, it was immediately bumped to the top. So then we have the fall to do our planning. We have our last meeting on Friday, and we're thinking, what are the real solutions to that? What are, what are the toolkits out there available to create better relationships between officers and youth? And by the way, we conducted 30 focus groups over the course of the fall reached hundreds and hundreds of youth, many of whom are justice involved. And they had a lot of different things to say. They're all individuals. But there are three things that, um, that they all wanted, or a huge majority of them. Youth in the city want to be connected to positive adults. They want to have better relationships with police officers. And they want to be part of the solution. And so we were hearing this not just from our stakeholders in the room, but from kids all over the city, that this is at the front of mind. Um, and they don't, they want police in their communities. They said that too. They want them there. They just want better relationships with them. And so to go back to this conversation we're having, what are the tools out there, it turns out that we have bridging the divide. Um, so it was really a wonderful coincidence. The whole point of the commission is a recognition that the best solutions don't come from City Hall. They come from communities, they come from parents, they come from practitioners. And so we need to be listening, and this is a great example of you all working, everyone in this room, really hard to create a very meaningful solution that clearly to a problem that is the front of so many people's minds in the city. So I really give you a huge amount of credit, and I want to thank the MacArthur Foundation for your financial support, but also for making sure that this wasn't just a one-time deal and, a, and one photo competition, but making sure that there's a card deck, a CD, you know, a curriculum so that we can take it to other police districts, which we're already talking about how to do that. That's the last I'll say. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.